Hello and welcome to this bite-sized learning on T-level healthcare signs where we're going to explore insights from the Chief Examiner's 2024 report on the Core A, B exams and ESP. So let's begin with the key themes from the Core A and B in exams. So starting with roles and responsibilities. So students generally demonstrated a good understanding of basic roles within healthcare science. However, there was a notable struggle with extended response questions, especially on topics requiring in-depth analysis like orthosis and CAD CAM technologies. In regards to patient safety, while students showed a strong understanding of the Medical Healthcare Regulation Agency, MHRA, many failed to effectively connect these regulatory rules to patient outcomes, which impacted their overall performance. In relation to data handling and confidentiality, although students understood the fundamentals of data handling and confidentiality, there was frequent misinterpretation of complex scenarios, especially those involved in age-specific confidentiality issues. And finally, regulatory framework. Students generally demonstrated sound knowledge of regulatory frameworks, but time management during the exam proved to be a significant issue, leading to low scores as they progressed through the paper. In relation to the key themes from core paper B, in biology, students performed well with equations and basic concepts, but faced challenges with interpreting graphs and calculating percentage changes. In physics, while the understanding of radiation was solid, electromagnetism remained a weak area. Chemistry responses were generally strong, though there were inconsistencies in understanding chromatography types. Interdisciplinary questions revealed mixed abilities in integrating knowledge from biology, chemistry and physics, with struggles in reading comprehension and time management. Now I'll explore the key themes from the employer set project. So students showed improved um, structure in research and literature reviews, though referencing techniques still needed refinement. There was improvement in the use of performers for quality improvement reports, but responses often lack detail. Presentation skills saw a marked improvement with effective use of digital tools. Reflective practice also improved, but there is room for deeper self-reflection and future planning. So let's explore each task in a little bit more detail. So in task one, student demonstrated better integration of resources, but often struggled with proper referencing and critical analysis sources. Task two saw improved use of performers and quality improvement reports, but responses generally lacked in the necessary detail and critical evaluations. For task three, while students showed an understanding of feedback, many did not critically evaluate or effectively implement the suggestions provided. Task 4b, presentations were generally well structured, reflecting improvement in digital skills, though the depth of content varied. And finally, task 5 saw better reflective practice, but students need to focus more on creating actionable future development plans. So these are the key themes. So now let's explore some strategies to enhance outcomes in these areas. To enhance performance in core exams, incorporate activities that challenge students to apply critical thinking and analyse complex scenarios. Provide target training on time management, ensuring students can complete exams effectively. Focus on improving reading comprehension through exercises that tackle complex scenarios and increase exposures to ERQs, helping students structure their responses and link theoretical knowledge with practical examples. For the employer set project, offer workshops on advanced research techniques, including effective referencing and critical analysis. Continue to support digital tool use and content depth in presentations. Develop reflective practice through guided exercises that promote deep self evaluation and encourage critical evaluation of feedback, detailed reflective responses, and work revisions. So, where else can you continue to get support? So similar to um, these, this session, we have more bite-sized recordings available on our dedicated healthcare science playlist on our YouTube channel. We also have past recordings of previous CPD events. We also have a dedicated T-Level Provider Hub, 
So please feel free to explore this and it's going to continue to adapt over the next academic year. So look out for these exciting changes. You also have curriculum consultations across your first two years of delivery, focusing on teaching and delivery. And you also have a dedicated customer su support email available here through T-Level support. Please take a few minutes to complete this feedback form. Your insights are very valuable. So thank you for watching this bite-sized learning on T-Level Healthcare Science, uh, key themes from Chief Examiner Report of 2021.